Hey everybody, welcome back to Greedfall. Uh, we're looking to talk to Siora's sister now about the funeral arrangements. And seeing if there's anything we can potentially do to help. I imagine it's just going to be observing, but... Siora, Asir, always with your new friends. Bertir to Madiseld, I'm happy to see you. What do you want? I'm only here to accompany Siora. I came to give our mother back to the Earth, Iseld. It is high time we did, I know. Performing the ritual might help me feel less empty. Iseld, I miss her too. Did you go to Vasrigan? No. Preparing the place is the role of the Donegada. I was afraid I would not do things properly. Okay, so we need to go to the Tumulus with Siora. So this has been put off for quite a while. I don't know if that's tradition or what have you. Even if we wanted to, we couldn't... We couldn't force this to go any quicker. Because we're at the mercy of when Siora wants to tackle these things. But we've been pretty busy regardless, so... I just hope that this kind of goes... ...smoothly, for lack of a better term. Like, they can just have this ceremony without... ...being interrupted by who knows what. Okay, these are fine. This some wild beasts never hurt anybody, right? Jeez. I'm still shocked by just the damage that we're putting out with this thing. Okay, what's... Hmm. We are approaching Vazrigan. This is where I will perform the ritual. This burial mound has been the final resting place of our queens for generations. It must be prepared before we can start the ritual. <laughs> Yeah, we must have to go around this way. Something's wrong. Ah, oh, are you serious? The bird singing in this place. <laughs> what do you mean? So much for that. She's right. Something isn't quite normal. There. Ten lands. This is not their natural habitat at all. We cannot leave them here. So close to the burial mound. So we take them out. Oh, welcome back, Kurt. Nested in the shadow of the burial mound. In that case, we have no choice but to destroy their nests. Otherwise, they'll just keep coming back. You are right. We cannot let these carnivores roam so close to my mother's remains. This should be fine. 
I'm gonna tear him down. You've got magic left. Drink a potion. Jeez, oh yeah, right. You should know that. When we took out those nets previously. Jeez, the damage. There's always that big alpha at the end we gotta deal with. Well, it's probably a good thing they didn't come here without us. have enough magic to heal everybody. We could have just used uh, one of our six million potions, but... Okay, let's get some traps ready here. Oh, don't like this. Oh, Kurt, I've missed you. Yes, I have. The beasts will no longer trouble the peace of our queen. All we have to do now is to take care of the ceremony. Let's do such a thing. Is there anything else to prepare? Of course. We will need some sensors crafted especially for the ritual. Where can we find them? It would be ideal if we could craft them ourselves, but otherwise the village artisan probably sells them. And I will also need some mortuary lotion. Mortuary lotion? I will have to coat my mother's body with it before giving her back to the earth. I will give you a list of all the ingredients because we will have to prepare it ourselves. The merchants won't sell it. Once we have gathered these last items, then Iseld and I will be able to perform the ritual. I thank you for being by my side and helping me the way you are. It... it means a lot to me. Don't mention it, Siora. I have a feeling... Oh, sensors we already have. Mortuary lotion, though. What are the ingredients? I'm looking to see if there's a crafting thing in here, but... Sounds like I'm going to... So this... Those sensors we bought a long time ago. But I need to find a camp or something. We can go back to the one that we had here, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I guess that's going to have to be it.
It's pretty likely that we have everything we need for this, I would say. I'm just going to run past these. We don't need to deal with them. Jesus. It's actually a little further than I thought. Okay, so let's see if we have what we need. Mortuary load. Oh, it's just pine resin. We'll make some extras. We have all that we need. Let's go back to the burial mound to put everything in place. Nice, nice. Yeah, let's go. Here we are. It is on this stone altar that we will place the body of my mother. We must place a sensor where her head will be, and another near her feet. And then you will have done everything you could to help me. And I am infinitely grateful for it. Your presence by my side means a lot to me. But only my sister and I can participate in this ceremony. This is how our ritual of the dead is performed. Do you understand? Yeah, I gotcha. We're gonna place the thing at the... Let's see. Uh, let's it just ask It is on her. this stone altar that we will place the body of my mother. We must place a sensor where her head will be. And another yeah. near her feet. At the head and at and the feet. you will have done everything you could. That's do. all I can do. Okay. And I am infinitely grateful for it. Your presence by my side means a lot to me. But only my sister and I can participate in this. This is how. There, everything is in place. Thanks again, Honor Manawi. My sister should be joining me soon. You should wait outside. Okay. Oh. These rituals are demanding. But they help us to say goodbye to those we love. You have been a true friend. A Karantz, accepting to help me the way you did. Thank you. I will never forget the kindness you displayed. Conforming to our customs and staying by my side. It's only natural, Siora. I know what it feels like to lose someone who is dear to you. We should go now. It is time to return to the living. Hmm. I, do, I wish that we could have witnessed that kind of selfishly. Carantz, we'll see if she's willing to talk something? about her father now. Or here we go. What do you intend to do now? Will you become the Dunaigad of your clan again? I will most likely do it, but not now. I still have a lot to discover by your side. Okay. I'm very glad to be able to enjoy your presence a while longer. Thank you for your kindness, Son Almanawi. I am also happy to be with you too. Question Anything mark. Else? I've never heard you talk about your father. He was the Donegad. This What happened to him? He was killed. My mother. Anything else? Yeah, so that just never Honestly, goes away. I wonder if that can only be resolved if we end up in like a loving relationship with her. I could see that being the case. Okay, so uh, instead of talking to the governor of San Mateus, we're going to help with uh, Kurt. So let's talk to him, see where he wants to go, and then um, we'll take Green off. Greenblood, my friend. The letter we found in Rolf's office was signed by a man whose name I'm familiar with. Herman 
I know he's responsible for what happened in this camp, as well as many other crimes. I'm gonna find him and make him pay for what he's done. I know that he's in San Mateus. And that works out perfectly. This quest for revenge isn't only about what happened to Rainer and the others, is it? Very well. You can count on me. What do you plan to do? Major Herman is posted in San Mateus. He's part of the Red Sun Regiment now. He's loyal to Torsten, but kept his head down when the coup was dismantled. Isn't denouncing him enough? He'll be put to death for high treason. The guard's reputation has suffered enough from Torsten's scheming. And he has connections in high places. I'm sure he has many supporters. What are you getting at? Are you going to kill him yourself? If he's well connected, the Mother Cardinal will surely hear about it, and I doubt she'd be pleased. I know. That's the whole problem. We need to get rid of him without anyone finding out. <laughs> really, if Kurt? Were here, he would probably tell us to do the exact opposite. That That's old probably true. fox is as sly as ever. But I don't see what you're getting at. There's a group in San Mateus that could make someone disappear in broad daylight without anyone saying anything about it. Those mad inquisitors. Yep. Exactly. It might not be easy to convince our good friend Aloysius. <laughs> really? But it's worth a try. Do we really right. want to go down that path? And if we bring Petrus, he will surely help us sway the Inquisitor. I must say, this is a horrid solution. <laughs> but if anyone deserves uh, it, that's awesome, actually. That bastard Herman. That is awesome. We'll need to find him, though. And he's been keeping a low profile since the coup failed. And we've already seen to what extent the law of silence has on the guard. We need help. Our new commander might be able to tell us who to turn to. She knows everybody. All right, then. Agreed. Let's start by going to see her. Okay, so we're definitely going to bring Petrus. Uh... Okay, well. That's fine. We'll do it when we travel. I really don't have a faster travel. I guess... Yeah, even I guess either way it's a bit of a jaunt. Here we have to escape all those things though. Okay. There's certain times and it's pretty rare. Generally we have a lot of camps nearby or we have something we can run to, but this is an example where it would be nice if there was um the ability to travel without having to run to a camp. I also kind of feel like there was two scenes recently that we were kind of robbed of. The, um, the funeral, obviously. And I, I get it. They're saying, like, it's part of our customs or whatever. Sure. But um, the one before that is, like, the trial. It just kind of was like, oh, you can't be there. And you're like, oh, that would have been so cool to see and, like, be able to question. And even the way that the... Um, the lawyer was explaining the different victim statement impacts and how some were going to be more valuable statements than others. That would have been really cool to have to, like, use those or not use those in court. Um, but maybe that would just be... Uh, that could be just outside the scope of development. I don't know. I don't know, but there's things like that where I'm like, oh, just give me a little bit there. Okay, let's bring BDP. And let's roll. To San... Oh, wait. Oh, right, okay. Siegland is in New Thrain, but then we're going to go over here to San Mateus. That's right, okay. Sieglinda, I believe it's pronounced. I hate, I hate the idea of dealing with Aloysius, or Aloysius, however it's pronounced, but it is kind of cool and dirty that way. Which makes it slightly more appealing. Oh. What does this guy have to say? Manfred. Ah, Your Excellency, I'm glad to see you. 
It seems there has been an unexpected development. In? The manager of the tavern came to find me. He complained of supply problems on the island and a customs sergeant who is seizing his shipments from the continent. Clearly, neither we nor the palace gave any such orders. You suspect that these seizures are being used to supply the contraband? It's the only logical answer. And you wonder if Egon is involved? Huh. Very well. Okay. I will find out. No, thank you. We can do that, I suppose. really tucked back in here. Hello, Commander. Lord Desade. And Kurt. I believe I should be thanking you for my nomination. Perhaps. It is your upright and honorable nature that won you this post. Not I. Perhaps sometime in the future you'll curse me for having suggested your name. I hope not. How can I be of service to you? Well... We are here to talk to you about a document we found in the training camp. A letter signed by Major Herman. He's behind all of this, Sieglinda. Herman. Kurt, this is personal now. When will this story be finished? I could court marshal him, but you know how much certain people support him. I know. He'd probably get away with it. Everyone loves the heroic Major. No. We thought of another way. The Ordo Luminis. You... you want to have them burned as heretics? If he'd been caught as Torsten's accomplice, he would have been drawn and quartered. Do you think that's <laughs> any less painful? I don't know if you came to look for my help or my blessing. You have Oh, both, she's cool. But promise me that you'll stop seeking vengeance after this. You have my word. We just need your help to find Herman. He's been hiding since the failed coup. And you need help in the San Mateus barracks. Talk to the corporal in charge of the prisons. I know him well. He's loyal. He's from the old school. If he can help you, he will. It seems to me that the Ordo Luminous keeps its prisoners in the prisons of the guard. In fact, if you want to avoid drawing too much attention to yourself, you could bring Herman there directly. I'll write you a letter for the corporal. Oh, cool. Okay. Here you go. This sounds like something Thank we could definitely screw up. You're welcome. And don't forget your promise, Kurt. Hmm. Okay, I guess we're going to San Mateus. See, it's, it does that. It's so weird where it's like it forces you places sometimes. Very strange. Because I was going to talk to that innkeeper before we left, but... God. Look who it is. What do you want now? We have come to discuss something that concerns you. Really? I'm listening. We would like to draw your attention to a man who has confessed to terrible crimes. Has he professed heresy? Venerated one of the demonic creatures worshipped by the savages? Not exactly. He's responsible for many deaths, and was one of Torsten's supporters. Who, as you know, was planning to overthrow your governor and take her place. These truly are crimes. But they have nothing to do with the Ordo Luminous. You should denounce this man to our governor. I'm sure she'll be happy to have him drawn and quartered. Not the same. Unfortunately, this man has friends in high places. I doubt that we'll be able to convince the Mother Cardinal. Politics. Thing is, the curse of our society. I do feel like we could convince her. I approve of your quest for justice, and I will help you as much as I can. 
I can't have your man publicly arrested without raising too many questions. Oh, that's why we're going to get him to your cells. But if you arrange for him to come to one of our jails discreetly, I'll make sure justice is delivered. The felon will receive the punishment he deserves on behalf of the glorious enlightened. May he always keep you in his divine blessing, Aloysius. Oh, you will soon find this man in your jail. Anything else? Nothing. It's all right. Remember that the Enlightened is always watching you. Okay. Well, didn't expect him to just be like, sure, no problem. So we're going to go talk to the corporal in charge. I don't know how the sneaking him in there part's going to go. I hate the fact that we're working with this guy. I kind of feel like with all the dirt that we gathered on Mother Cardinal and the kind of tiff between her and Petrus that we likely could have convinced her, but... For the eyes, ladies and gentlemen. Not here for fun. And Not here for free. fun. Come and see me as soon as you have made your choice. There we go. Yes. What can I do for you? We might you? have to bribe him. Or Sir. We'll see. Commander Zieglander wrote this letter to you. Hmm. I wasn't expecting that. Even though I never really liked the Major, the Commander is asking me to do all I can to assist you in your mission. So what can I do for you? We're looking for the Major. Hmm. We know that he was posted here. Yes, and officially he still is. But I haven't seen him for some time. Following the coup, he was probably expecting us to go after him. The only people he may have told about his hiding place are his lieutenants. Those two are his henchmen. I see. <laughs> well, and we we'll just have the to go twist. and interrogate them. Okay. If we bring him to you, can you make sure he ends up in an Ordo Luminous jail? Do you want to condemn him to the stake? That's a bit extreme. Don't ask so many questions. Listen, I can lock him up, but you'll have to find a way to keep my men from seeing him. Why is that? All the guards in the city know the Major. If they see him brought here, they'll want to know why. And they will surely take it out on the Inquisition, which could end badly. Huh. You're not wrong, Corporal. What do you suggest? If you bring me some sleeping potions, <laughs> I could put I'm really good at them sleeping to potions. sleep. When they wake up, they'll be ashamed of having slept through their watch. But that's better than spilling blood. Uh, I have five out of three of them. Perfect. So you need sleeping potions. Is that right? Yes, to put my men to sleep. That would seem the best way of doing it. Perfect. And then? When you have your man, let me know and I'll do the rest. Anything else? We should go. Goodbye. We're like... Now that everything is ready, we should go find these lieutenants. Overly prepared. With all of this stuff. Okay, listen up. Find a way to drive the soldiers from their lieutenants. Well, let's start by talking and see if there's You're something we can do. You're far from your regiment, Captain. What do you want? We're looking for Major Herman. I was told you'd know where to find him. The Major? He must be on a mission somewhere. Don't play dumb with me, Lieutenant. I'd be sorry to see you arrested as an accomplice. Listen, Captain. 
We really don't know what you're talking about. As for your threats, you're not our superior. You're not part of our regiment. Yet we're here with your new commander's blessing. The Major is accused of treason. You'd better tell us where to find him. Lies. The Major is a righteous man. We'd give our lives for him. Really? Let's see you do it. Oh, really? Guards, help me! Ha! <laughs> Maybe I'm right to protect me in this battle. To my help. And death. I wonder if we may have been able to, uh... Oh, are you freaking serious? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that we that we have not gone down in a long time. We just did to the coin guard. It's embarrassing. But it happens. Okay, I wonder if there's a way to like instead of talking to them directly. Maybe we can talk to the, um... Yeah. Let's talk to the Soldiers. recruits. Everyone outside, that's an order. But, uh, Captain, with all due respect, you're not in our regiment. We're supposed to stay here, Captain. We must guard the barracks. See, I looked at this previously as, uh, these were one of the two lieutenants that we need to talk to, and we could just talk to either one, but... I believe that the rank of Captain of the Guard counts regardless of regiment soldiers. Especially when the said Captain reports directly to Commander Sieglinder. If it's an order from the Commander, we better obey, guys. Oh, sorry, Captain. We didn't mean to disobey you. Let's go. Let's get out of here. See ya. Now, if they want to fight, You're it'll be easier, first regiment, of all. Captain. Let's see if there's anything different. We're looking for Major Herman. The Major? Don't play dumb with me, Lieutenant. Listen, Captain. Don't know what you're threats. talking about. You're not our super. Yet we're here with your... The Major is accused of truth. Lies. The Major... Really? Okay, so we're still fighting. It's just now there's only two. And <laughs> Destroyed. That's so, better. are you finally ready to tell us where we can <laughs> find Herman? We'll never tell you anything. Stop. You might be ready to die for him, but I'm not. He's in a warehouse on the port. The traitor is probably getting ready to leave the island. What do you want to do with these two, Kurd? Lieutenants, you're under arrest for now. Go to the commander. She'll decide what to do with you. <sighs> At your orders, Captain. Let's find the Major before he escapes. On it.